Here we have a triangle ABC and we have BD which is side AC bisector. We also know this angle 45 degrees BDA and we know this angle A and this angle DBC are the same measure and we ask to find what this angle is. Now this is the second in a series of three videos about this problem. In this video, like in the previous one, I'm going to use geometrical approach to solve this problem. The third video will be about trigonometry. So let's get started. First of all, notice that this angle 45 degrees is the external angle to the triangle BDC and therefore it is sum of this angle X and the angle C and therefore the angle C should be 45 minus X. The way you're going to solve a problem like this is by construction of isosceles equilateral triangles one way or the other. So what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a circle around this triangle and this is not the first video when I'm using this technique so I posted links to the other problems where I use this technique and the reason why we want to use a circle because circle allows us to create a bunch of equilateral and isosceles triangles so what are we going to do now we're going to connect point all the center of the circle with all the points on this triangle A, B, C and D and obviously AO, BO and CO have the same length because they are radii and uh, that actually allows us to create several isosceles triangles triangle AOB is isosceles, BOC is an isosceles and AOC is an isosceles triangle also notice this angle D ADO is 90 degree angle and the reason for that is triangle AOC is an isosceles triangle point D is the middle point of the side AC so OD is a side bisector but in an isosceles triangle side bisector is going to be in altitude as well that's why this angle is 90 degrees now notice that angle ACB is an inscribed angle the vertex of this angle lays on a circle and uh, sides of this angle intersect the circle of the points A and B. Also, there is something called a central angle, which also goes to point A and B, but has a vertex at the center of the circle. And it turned out that the central angle that is related to this inscribed angle that central angle is twice as big as the inscribed angle and if inscribed angle is 45 minus x this angle should be 90 minus 2x in a similar way you can see that angle BOC is a central angle for the inscribed angle BAC and inscribed angle has measure x so BOC should have a measure 2x now look at the angle AOC. This angle consists of two angles. One is 90 minus 2x, that is 2x. If you add them up, you get 90 degrees. So triangle AOC has a 90 degree angle. It's the right triangle, but it's also an isosceles triangle. Therefore, angles at the base in, in C should be of the same measure, and they will be 45 degrees. Now notice that Triangle ADO is also a right triangle and it has an angle of 90 degrees and 45 degrees. Therefore, the other angle should be 45 degrees. But now we got a triangle ADO which has two angles of the same measure. That means that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. And DO should be the same length as AD. And now let's look at this angle, BDO. This angle is 45 plus 90, it's 135. But if you look at this angle, BDC, it's 180 minus this 45, and it's also 135 degrees. 
So we got this angle and this angle, which are congruent to each other. And now I would like you to pay attention to these two triangles, the blue one and the green one. Those two triangles are congruent because they have two congruent sides and the angle between them. Side OD equals to side CD. Side BD is shared by these two triangles and this angle BDO congruent to angle BDC. And since these triangles are congruent, corresponding sides should be congruent. And the corresponding side here is BC and BO. They should be the same in length. But now look at the triangle BOC. It's an equilateral triangle. So in equilateral triangle, all the angles should be 60 degrees, including the angle B, which is 45 plus X. So 45 plus X should be 60 degrees, and that means that X should be 30 degrees, and that's the final answer.